I'm all alone here without you, bitches. Uh, hey, hello. Welcome, everybody, to the Cobra Law Podcast. Welcome to the Dust Mites Terradrome. Uh, my name is Dust Mites, and I am by myself right here, drinking a nice, crisp, clean, freshly opened bottle of uh, Shark Cunt beer. So, shout out to Shark Cunt beer. Um, they have a new catchphrase, I heard. Uh, when you think you're going to need a bigger beer, drink Shark Cunt beer. Drink, you son of a bitch. Okay, and there's our... Uh, there's our product placement for the evening. Uh, let's go through the uh, the list of things we're doing this evening. Uh, yeah, there's no midi minute, so that's a good thing. Uh, we're not gonna have a uh, Bo Walker walkthrough because fuck him and fuck his walkthrough. And we're definitely not doing that fucking new shit that everybody fucking loves so much. So fuck you, fuck you. Fuck the news. All right. Let's move on to my favorite segment, 80s cheese. Yes, we're doing an 80s cheese tonight. There's nobody here to talk to, so we're doing an 80s cheese. No, we're not. All right. Welcome to the Terradrome, the podcast by the guys that podcast like it might be their last podcast. Why? Because it just might be. Episode 35, guys, I'm not going to ask for a rousing round of applause because there's a lot of things going on. We're here. Yes, yes. We're here. Here we are. Still, we're still you here. You don't ask for it, but you get it anyways. But you get it. It's just like the t-shirts. You didn't ask for them. <laughs> you did, them anyway. you didn't ask for this, but you're getting it. That's right. We know it's best for you. Oh, boy, you're getting it. We do know it's best for you. <laughs> <laughs> All of you. <laughs> this is where hey. we start playing like our music backwards and shit, and it's like giving fucking... <laughs> <laughs> you got you to tell it. Hey, guys, you, you point out to the fucking crowd, we're the captains now. Yes. Yeah, exactly. exactly. <laughs> we are the captains now. Who was the uh, who was the fucking G.I. Joe that <laughs> came with the fucking shield that was like a hologram? He was a Cobra dude and he would hypnotize you. Oh, uh, uh, fucking a. Um, you know uh, what I'm talking shit. about, right? Is that Mindbender? No, no, no. I want Mindbender. What, it was, was uh, it Zanzibar. Post, was it? post. <laughs> Was it Zanzibar? No, <laughs> no. But you're, but you're in the same vein. It was that kind of weird, like you know. Whoa, 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 whoa! Back it up! Back trashy. it up! Back! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Beep! Oh, you're in a fucking chat room with a bunch of guys. You don't say vein. <laughs> All right, it's not cool. No? Not All cool, right. bro. All right, no All cool, right. no Excuse vein. Excuse me for kind of the vocabulary vein. beyond what's the accepted norm for See, heterosexual males. Stop with the vein. All right. All right, all right, fair all right. enough. Dust wants you to stop with the vein, but then when he eats those fucking chocolate things, he's like, "Ah, oh, I got a big prison cock." I'm off of them. <laughs> I'm off, off of it. Of I'm off of it. You're off of those. Off of it. Permanently. Permanently. There's none in your freezer. Nothing. I have no food in my apartment whatsoever. I'm fucking tapped. 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 I maybe got a bo- box of waffles. All the guys ate your food. Yeah, that's what it was. They all came through, and I haven't been shopping since. I do get, like, fucking 35 bags of chips that I'll never eat and 16 <laughs> bottles of soda that I'm throwing out. That's all I need in my life is to fucking eat chips and soda again. Yeah, right? Uh, 
I mean, Let me tell you right now, I, I can't stand having... I, I love it when people leave shit at my house, but when it's soda that I don't drink, yeah. it drives me crazy. Course, I'm like, I don't want that shit. Like, it, 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 I've got three-fourths of a two-liter of some soda that I don't care for, and it's yeah. the worst. Why don't you leave beer? No, because yeah. they drank it all. Give me be- Yeah, I know. They drank <laughs> it all. <laughs> savages drank it all. The savages. Fucking savage. <laughs> like choke on a turkey. You know, though, that that soda will find its way into a liquor at some point. Nah, man. I'll pour some shit out, dude. <laughs> Me? I'll just I'm, bring it back. I'll just bring it back to Walmart drink, and say, yeah, I bought the wrong one. So I need some store credit. <laughs> yeah. That's what I'll do. I got three not- quarters. I got three quarters of a Diet Coke Zero. Fucking what? What's the? What do you give me for that? <laughs> a twenty ounce Coke? A twelve ounce Coke? I'll take it. I'll take anything. Shit. I, got a bag I don't of, give a fuck, man. I got that, a bag that's of worthless sweet, to me. I got a bag of sweet chili Doritos. Who eats sweet chili Doritos? <laughs> sweet chili. <laughs> sweet chili. Come the on. fuck! I didn't even Come know they on. made sweet chili. Who the fuck? Yeah. Would you buy those in the clearance aisle? <laughs> Fuck you right now. Uh, Tapatio Doritos are the greatest chip ever invented. Mm. Hey, bro, you know you know it's the shit, man. It's the Tapatio Michelada mix. Oh my yes, fucking god! I agree. You guys I'll, ever see I'll, Bravos I'm pretty, before? I'm pretty down with Tapatio. You ever see Bravos yeah. before? What's That's Bravo? like the Bravos is like Doritos, like raggedy ass cousin. <laughs> it's like Mr. Pitt. <laughs> Yeah, it's it's like the yeah. wise version of of wise potato chips version of the Dorito. It's called Bravos. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty janky, man. It's real janky. Not. Bo Walker, hey, Bo, the mayor of Macon, the dancing machine. Yeah, hey, hey, it hey. happens. Yeah, I see that. That was incredible. Oh shit, that went nothing, man. <laughs> There's are no you way for, any, any man closing right, in man. in his 40s yeah. should move like that. Oh, shit, man. That ain't nothing, bro. You should, should, should be move, able to move, move like that, that all day long. I mean. like that all day long, man. That little sample. All right, so what's up? What's up? Uh, I had bingo tonight, as many people. As anyone who has listened to more than two episodes of this show knows, uh, I host bingo. Uh, and so tonight was our last, uh, I hosted it's, uh, we, we cast on a Monday. So this was the Monday before Thanksgiving. This, this cast will come out the day after Thanksgiving. If all goes according to plan, maybe, um, maybe, maybe, uh, am I giving too much? Am I telling no, no, too no, much? No, 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 no. I yeah. was going to ask dust. Do you think, uh, if I get the, uh, the notes written, like I didn't do last week, Soon enough, should we drop it on Thanksgiving since people will be hanging out? Yeah, I mean, if Ace could do it, if he's around. Yeah, all right. I'll, I like that. I'll edit. I'll edit the. I'll edit the YouTube version tonight, and uh, I'll have it. Yeah, I'll have it out tomorrow. I'll have it tomorrow Dust, morning. We know that you will have it ready. Way you, yeah. You, yeah you, if I don't have it tomorrow, you were a, you were, a, you were a beautiful angel of a machine. You well, are not going to be much uh, editing, so we're good. Yeah. <laughs> Just throw it out there. <laughs> well, you had uh, bingo. Fair enough. So I had bingo, and it was good, and we did a Thanksgiving themed. And uh, last week, uh, no one uh, in listening to the cast would know this, but last week at bingo, I went on a whole rant, which I think I did actually last week on the cast uh, uh, about how about Christmas music. It was all about Christmas music. And how there's no Thanksgiving music, and right. what the fuck, what the fuck are you really upset about? All right, so I did fail to acknowledge one Christmas, one Thanksgiving. Excuse me, I fucked it up already. One Thanksgiving song. There is a Thanksgiving song that I do want to acknowledge that I think is amazing, and it is Maybe the, got pa- back? the and no, 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 no. It's the Pastor Shirley C- Caesar. The Greens, beans, potatoes, tomatoes, rams, hams, lambs, you name it. You know that one. You know that one. one, You've seen it, huh? It's a new. I mean, that's a new, that's a fairly new uh, Thanksgiving song. It's certainly, uh, it's certainly, uh, I mean, it's an edit. It's a, it's an edit. Like it, it, she gave, it was a woman who, a pastor, a female pastor who gave a sermon and somebody found that video of that online and turned it into a put a trap beat over it and made it a thing. 
and it's awesome. It's fucking awesome. Yeah, and I so feel like I, I, pl- I played that like four times throughout the course of bingo tonight. I was like, oh, 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 here it comes. Beans, greens, tomatoes. It was like anytime I felt like people were getting too comfortable, it was like, oh, it, oh, shit. Oh, shit. Here it comes. It turned into your. Pur, pur, pur. Yeah, it was it was my air horn. It was my air horn. And I fucking let that shit rip. And I would get up and I got two little boys who were all up on this Fortnite shit. And if if anyone. Yeah, if any of you cool. guys or no what's up it's it's all about these very specific dance moves which i happen to have learned oh we saw uh, it yeah, yeah and so saw, you know I you know i got i got all the Fortnite dance moves man if if you've seen it on Fortnite, i can do it i promise I you like you should Yo, i want to see bo do the floss right now Oh, I get, I can have oh, shit. Let's go. I, the floss is the first, the firstborn son of the of the Fortnite dances. I kind of feel like you should have, you should. I know you sent that video to the group, but I, I, I kind of feel like you should, you should, you should maybe post that. He did. Oh, you did post it. I shared it. I shared oh, it. It was, it, was it, was the, the it was one of the servers that works at the restaurant the book. bar the book. that uh, that posted the video that I shared. Yeah. So in order, so let me get this straight real quick. So in order to get video of comedy bingo, one of the servers had, had to record to, yeah. and post. Got yes. it. Okay. okay. Yeah, Got that's it. what had to happen. Got Sorry. Man, Sorry, dude. People don't record themselves. Got it. Well, fair oh, enough. Man. Uh, uh, it's, 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 <laughs> look, man. I yeah, it happened. <laughs> it happened. Anything else going on this week, Bobo? Um, uh, I feel like something else has gone on, but I I, I want to keep things moving. I can't think of anything off the top of my head. So, all right, fair enough. Yeah, Midichlorian music. So what's up, fellas? How are you, sir? Working like a fucking dog, man. Out out here, just uh, just tired. You know, this is gonna be one of them nights where I'm kind of be I'm gonna kind of be sitting back in the cut. Letting you guys uh, do the heavy lifting. Oh, I mean, I always do that. With As, opposed to what? <laughs> <laughs> As opposed to As opposed. So basically, this is going to be like every other show uh, up till now. Number 34 <laughs> up in this motherfucker. This 34. This is 35, by the way. Is it? Yes. Yeah. I just said it literally. 35. Like- yes. Hell yeah. Frank no Tom. editing. <laughs> I'm on it. This is 34 because you know what? I missed two shows, so this is actually 33. Oh, for you? <laughs> yes, 33 for me. <laughs> All right, got it. And no, no, I never, well, I never listen to them damn shows. We know. Trust never. us. Never. Yeah, I, 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 because I know people might have been wondering. I know Dust was probably wondering, so nah. Oh no, Dust knows didn't. you don't listen to him. He knows. Oh, you don't listen to him? Then I don't have to send it to you. <laughs> <laughs> and if I don't send it to him, he's like, can I, can I, can I, how come I didn't get a copy? <laughs> Dust Mites Edward, how are you, sir? Yo, just like Mitty, exhausted and laying in the cut. Yeah, I feel like that's kind of the uh the theme today. Oh man, it's fu- I'm fucking beat, man. It's been a rough weekend, gobble gobble shit. Yeah. Being in the grocery retail world been a hell of a fucking weekend you know if you don't have the fucking uh, pearl onions and sauce it's the end of the fucking world <laughs> you ruined my uh. thanksgiving <laughs> the fuck out of here you're the only store and it's yeah. three days before thanksgiving yeah google that dude, shit I used to, make your uh, own I, sauce dude i used to work retail and we weren't even in the grocery industry we i was in i was in mattresses and it was still that kind of shit, like where it was like the worst is like the, people, the, people were just they were they were unwilling to understand any sort of normal business routine. Well, the area that I'm in is, is it's a little bit more urban, and people feel they're very entitled over there. Like you basically yeah. have to show them yeah. the product, put it in the cart, pay for it, bring it home, cook it eat it for them and shit it out. <laughs> That's basically what nice. they want. But you know, the worst thing is like, you know, they bug my, I'm, I'm upscaler. I'm up more upscale. So they bug my guys. My guys are telling them the same fucking answers that I'm going to give them. 
And because I'm a manager, they come to me and ask me. And like, I, I'm going to know. That like, it's going to be. And they look at me with the, with the fucking crooked neck look like I'm lying. Oh, really? No, I'm right. fucking lying to you. I'm lying to you. That's what I'm here for. I'm lying. Yeah. We got, yeah. got 600,000 of them in the back. We don't want to sell them to you. <laughs> we don't want to make money. <laughs> the fuck out of here. And then the, the, the worst part is fucking Snowmageddon last week. Holy shit, man. What was that? Wednesday night? When did yeah, I fucking snow yeah. Was it Wednesday? Dude, I left here at 5 o'clock. I punched out at 5. I get in my car. I'm like, fuck, snow. It's going to take me a while to get home. It took me two and a half hours to go a third of a mile. Ooh. A third wow. of a mile. Wow. I went from one light to the next light. Two and a half hours. And I'm looking on social media, and they're telling me this fucking highway is closed. That highway is closed. Uh, the way I get home is closed. The mountain is closed. I can't get down the mountain. I can't do this. I can't do that. This is closed. Jackknife fucking tractor trailer. People that left at 1 o'clock are still fucking sitting in traffic at fucking 5 o'clock. I'm like, what the fuck am I going to do? I can't be that fucking guy. I got half a tank of gas. I'm stuck in one of those two-lane highways, you know, interstates where you got two lanes going one way. and there's, You got a median in between. You know what I mean? That type of shit. Type, mm-hmm. It's basically the type of shit. You remember when, when, when Walking Dead first aired? And, like, they showed you when they were trying to get through the cars, and you're like, you, you see that one lane of, like, two rows of cars, and you think to yourself, you, yeah, Atlanta. you think to yourself like this, like, yeah. who the fuck is going to stay in their car all that time? Yeah, well, that's what happened in the state of New Jersey <laughs> fucking last week. People were stuck in a car for nine, ten hours, took them to get home. Oh, I live ten oh, miles Jersey. away. I live ten miles away. You know what time I got home? 12.35 a.m. Wow. Jesus Christ. 10 miles away. See, I was smart, That's though. That's unheard of. That's see, ridiculous. See, you know, my anxiety was kicking in. I started having my panic attacks. I'm like, what the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? I'm screaming and yelling. I'm ready to drive over the median in the what fucking the fuck? snow. It, you know what? It was the perfect storm. It was like it started right at 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Everybody got scared. They left. The, the weathermen underestimated it. A cold front came in and kicked what was supposed to be rain into hardcore snow. We got three three inches in two Hardcore. hours. Four inches, five in, six inches dropped within two hours. And the problem was everybody was on the highways and the roads already, and there was accidents. So the tow trucks couldn't get past through everybody because everybody was backed up so far, and the plow trucks couldn't get through because the fucking cars on the road. This uh, just shows you that the state of New Jersey, man. the state of New Jersey, there's way too many people in the small area. So back to my story. I got to the next light. I made the illegal left. Fucking through the snow and went back to my store. And I said, fuck it. At least I could eat and I got a warm place. I could sleep there if I have to. Yeah. Does it suck? Yeah. Is it uncomfortable? <laughs> yeah. But I ain't going to be that fucking jerk off on the side of the road when I run out of gas, fucking freezing to death like fucking Jack Nicholson in The Shining. It ain't happening. One time I was, I was, I was driving back from Vegas and uh, I left it obviously like the wrong time, like fucking noon on a Sunday. Mm-hmm. So like. To get to Vegas from LA, it can take you four hours or it can take you fucking seven hours, right? Mm -hmm. Depending on the weekend or whatever. So I'm driving back and I know between like the main Vegas and state line is like, you know, 20 miles, whatever, 25 miles. So I'm driving and I realize that my, I'm, I'm on, I'm on empty. Like I don't have any fucking gas. So I'm going and it's getting like to fucking like code red time. Like I'm literally about to run out of gas with 10 miles to the next gas station in absolute gridlock bumper to bumper. So I go to the left to the right and I'm driving in like, you know, like the pull out lane. Mm-hmm. And so all these fucking semi trucks in front of me are thinking I'm just trying to skip the traffic. Yeah, and they pull over trying to block so you. Fucking pulling uh. in the lane, and I'm like, dude, I'm literally gonna fuck. So then they'll come back in. I'll go in. Then I'll go out and go. And they're radioing to each other uh-huh. ahead uh-huh. of me. Spy hunter. Yeah, exactly. Uh. Like this guy. Literally, I was uh, my car was I I finally fucking made it and I was sputtering like like to the fucking gas station and it's like what, what did, 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 did the feeling 
yeah, the yo, feeling. Yo, did you get all the way uh, to the bar store, or did you find a gas no, station before that? Line. So okay. you, you, so you know that feeling of anxiety. You know what I mean? And I'm yeah, stuck. That, that's probably the only time I ever get, I've ever had it. See, at least you have you. you there was we had it where the highway that I was on. There was a shoulder, but I couldn't get to the shoulder, and, and I could easily up. pulled into one of the many strip malls that are on that fucking highway. But right, what am I gonna do when I get to Dunkin' Donuts? What am I yeah. gonna do? Yeah. Right. So <laughs> the best, the, the best. I have to tell you right now, I made the most, the the smartest decision in my adult life was to turn, make the illegal left, and get my ass back to the store. And I did it, and I just waited there until ten thirty. Every every hour, I was going out monitoring to see what was going on, if anything was moving. I couldn't go the back way because the back way was untouched and it was like seven and a half inches of snow on that shit. I wasn't making through there, man. My 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 my, my, my thinking was this: if I go the back yeah. way and I make it to the next interstate, is it going to be just as bad as this one? Sure. And you know what I mean. Then I'm stuck there, so I just said, "Fuck it." I stayed at work. And then I saw like a bunch of posts on Facebook and shit about this highway opening and that one was open. Yo, they closed the Port Authority. They closed the George Washington Bridge going into Manhattan. It was just a clusterfuck, clusterfuck. So basically, I left it. I left about ten fifteen. I waited in forty five minutes worth of traffic. What I was sitting in was basically one of the routes that I was on was meeting another one at a light. So everybody was merging, and then another mile, half a mile down the road. Everybody was merging onto the big oh, highway, shit. and the big highway was a fucking parking lot. But once I got past that, I was able to veer to the left and get on that little little state road, and I and I was home within forty minutes, man. But bro, home uh, again, home again, jiggity jig, dude, <laughs> dude, uh, never was again. Week, you ask, how was your week? It's funny you should ask. Um, uh. <laughs> <laughs> no, in all seriousness, uh, my week was pretty, uh, up until today, it was, you know, pretty uneventful. Didn't Actually, this weekend, I went to a place called the, uh, the Two Bit Circus. And it's kind of like an, like an electronic arcade circus. So they had like escape rooms and VR like shit. But like real VR, like where you like wear the backpack and you've got a gun and a headset and you're like inside of a maze and the maze in real life just looks like plastic walls. But when you put the fucking thing on, it's like you're in like a a dungeon fighting a minotaur. (laughs) It was incredible. (laughs) It was so fucking cool. Like, I'm like, you know, you're going like it was like seven bucks for like a 10 minute maze or something. And you're like creeping around corners and you're shooting skeletons. And then like you open up a door and then all of a sudden you're like the door slides up and you're outside on a snowy cliff, like 10,000 feet up. And how, how real does it look? It looks, I mean, listen, it looks like a video game, Uh but you're fucking in it, bro. Like to the point where like when I opened that door and it's outside, like they had like cold wind hit your face. (laughs) <laughs> and like oh shit like you find yourself yeah. Like, yeah trying to like get next to the wall to get to the next like turn i mean literally you're in a fucking a, a room with plastic walls but like inside it was fucking dope like it was super cool it was super i, I highly recommend it it makes me want to do those ones that they have here that are like star wars or like aliens and and yeah, it's pretty cool. I I, uh, yeah. I recommend it. And then also, I'm assuming nobody on the panel has done an escape room. No, I had never done one. So I had never done one either. So uh, it was pretty cool, but it was also very frustrating. I dated uh. a, I dated a chick with an escape room. <laughs> <laughs> Things are getting hot and heavy. She said, "Hold on a minute, I'll be right back." That bitch never came back. <laughs> yeah, on Dust Tinder profile, it says "must have escape room." Yeah, she had an escape room, all right? She had an escape room. Was... Sorry, sorry. Yes. sorry. Oh, you're fine. So, it like, listen, I think that I'm a fairly intelligent individual. Okay. Uh, <laughs> 
<laughs> okay. <laughs> Dust. <laughs> hey, let's just be happy that I can form sentences this week. I'm, I'm drinking okay. seltzer. I'm drinking uh, shark cunt seltzer this evening. <laughs> so, uh, and you know, you're solving things to open up little, like other things that will help you with the next. Like you have to solve like three puzzles to get out of one room to get into right. a room. Right. And, like, each one that you solve, you get, like, a clue to solve the next one or whatever. And I'm not going to lie, dude. I, I felt pretty dumb a couple times, and I did not like it. Now, are you in the room alone, or do you have, like, a group? No, you're, like, with a group of, like, four to six. So everybody is trying to help figure out what you have to do. And, like, it was called Lost City. So like you were like you started off in like a mine shaft and they had like a like legit Indiana Jones style mine car on a track. How many, how many of the people in your group did you already know? One. Right, Damn. Now, Damn. And how many how many Damn. how many of those how many people, people were in the group? How many Only people four. How many people were one of those guys that like I know everything. I got this. Well, here, yes, here, here's the well, thing. You yeah. start thinking, you start getting a little testy. You get you get stuck with yeah. swinging Dick Murphy, you know. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Knows everything. Exactly, yeah. dude. Swinging, swinging Dick Murphy. He's swinging yeah. it around. Hold on, I'm over here with yep. it. <laughs> yep. The competitiveness comes out a little bit. Yep. Uh, some guy saying you're like, all right, fuck it, we'll try that. Fuck it, fuck it. <laughs> like you know what I mean? <laughs> you know Fine. he's wrong. Swinging you know Dick he's wrong. You prove you're, yourself wrong. Fucking. You know he's wrong, and you're two steps away from fucking finishing and if they just leave you alone for fucking two seconds get on my back yeah that's yep. not working yep. let's do this you know what i mean so uh you have 45 minutes and um uh every 10 minutes you can ask for a hint we had to ask for a hint every 10 minutes it was like and they're watching you like through a camera so the cool thing is, is that the hints aren't like generic they're kind oh. of like because they hear you talking to each other, right? There's no hot so cold, warm. Right? You're warm. Yeah. yeah. So one of the thing was like the goal of the room was to get this dynamite and fucking blow up a wall so you can get into like the like the fucking hidden chamber, right? The secret temple or whatever. And so you had to hook up uh jumper cables. There was like three posts on one thing and three posts on another thing. And you had to hook up the jumper cables in the correct order. And they give you like a map to do it, but you don't know if the map is correct right side up to the left, to the right. And it gives you like a trail, like a maze to hook up each fucking cord or whatever. So two of the cords are black and, and or one of the cords is black and two of them are red. And so we think we have it in the right order, but then they're like, well, what if the colors fucking make a difference? What if fucking, you know, da, da, da. and then you ask for a oh. hint, and then, the, and then the people watching are going, colors don't make a difference. So you're like, okay, then, all right. Because they're, uh, they're listening to Told you, you motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> Told you, motherfuckers. How was nobody Googling on their phones? Dang, or fucking like they take your phone. Smart watches. Oh, of course. But of course. Some people got phone, hacked. You know? Smart fucking watches. Nope. They, they take, take your phone like it's a fucking watches. Dave Chappelle concert. Yeah. yeah. So then, so then you get out of one room into the other room and the other room was super dope. It was like a Mayan temple. So like you had to like stand, like two people had to stand on platforms that like the weight went down so that it like activated another fucking puzzle. Like it was yeah. super Indiana Jonesy. And then wow, you would, that's fucking crazy. You, you would solve the puzzle and then like a fucking idol would come out and you'd have to put the idol in a certain fucking area. And then at the Damn. end, like you, they gave you like a mirror, and you had to full on do the Indiana Jones, like bounce a red laser off the mirror into an eye to open a coffin. <laughs> it was it was it was pretty cool. Aldo would be uh, like, you you left the room and made like the dragons lay horns. <laughs> exactly. <'Cause> we, died. <laughs> we didn't do it on time. You only you get forty five minutes, and we were one puzzle left to get the gold or whatever. But we were oh. right there. We were right there, man. <laughs> But yeah, it was. Uh, that sounds dope. So I did that. Um, I went and saw some wrestling this weekend. I saw NXT at the Staples Center, which was very fun, very funny. Oh, there he goes. Cut, scratch, transform. Is he still with us? 
I yeah, love. there was a lot of wrestling and, and more wrestling and a little bit more wrestling. All right, Bo, you got this? Yeah, so, uh, <clears throat> hey. hey. Laugh out Boy. loud at the screenshot. I got Boy, you, uh. You, de- you definitely, you would, de- you definitely drank some of the serum tonight, didn't you? Yeah, I did. Oh boy, you know it's funny. It's like when you start the show, you're fine. Yeah. <laughs> then about a half hour, a half forty hour, minutes in, half hour, forty five minutes in, I fucking Doctor Jekyll done. makes his fucking appearance fucking with Mister Hyde. <laughs> no, I'm good. I'm good. <clears throat> hey, <clears throat> hey. All right, he popped out. He come, he's gonna come back and finish he's up his wrestling up. story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's right there. Yeah. See, see, he's already oh, back in. What is he's already back in this motherfucker. Yeah, farewell. Was I midi for a minute? Did my connection drop out? Yeah, you had a midi minute. My- <laughs> had a midi yeah. minute. <laughs> the true midi minute. We just picked up the reins and we started moving. We said something. All right. Sorry about that. So yeah. anyway, so that was fun. Um, uh, real quick. Uh, today I want to give a. I want to get serious for one second. I want to give a shout out. Uh, I found out a buddy of mine, Derek Blantner, uh, passed away today. Um, they found him dead in his office. Uh, he was in his late 30s. Um, we don't really know why yet. Uh, but yeah, mm-hmm. he was a friend of mine. He wasn't a really tight friend, but I had, you know, over the last couple of years, you know, we, we had, I'd see him out when I was with other people and we'd have beers and drink and he's come to some of my parties and, you know, he was a... Uh, he was a stand-up dude. He was a good dude. And, uh, you know, it just, it's wild, man. It can fucking, can strike at any moment. I don't know if foul play was involved, if it was a medical issue, if it was a drug overdose. Um, I, I, I don't know yet, but, you know, regardless. Uh, yeah, we're not. Uh, you're not fucking Colombo, you know what I mean? Right, yeah, yeah. No, I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. Sorry to hear this, man. My condolences. You know. Yeah, we're not uh, yeah. we're not long for this place. So, uh, and that's part of the reason why I wanted to do the show tonight because I fucking love you guys. And if something was to happen to me between now and next Monday, I would have wanted to do this show. And I think it's vice versa for everybody because we're brothers, and it's really you know cool that we do this. I don't fucking care how many people listen. Um, it's very cool. And he was a big supporter of our stuff, man. He always. He bought all the CDs. He rocked all the T-shirts. He came to all the shows. He was constantly asking me when new stuff was coming out. And, uh, yeah, I'm actually pretty bummed that I couldn't get him, you know, these new shirts or whatever. Not That's not a plug. I'm not about to go into a plug. But because he would have wanted one. And he, he, he used yeah. to ask me about them all the time. And uh, I don't know how they're doing the funeral or whatever, if they're doing a, 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 a casket or a, or, a, or a cremation or whatnot. But if they do a casket, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna bring a shirt there and I'm gonna throw it down with them, because he would have uh, he would have wanted one of those. Nope. So that's dope. Yeah. Uh, so there we go. Today is Monday. Yeah. Uh, Another news. <laughs> yeah. When this yeah. comes out, uh, it's hopefully it's Thursday. If not, it's it's Friday. You know, it'd be great is if it came out Thursday, but it came out late. And so we like like the demeanor of the show is how everybody is after they've eaten Thanksgiving dinner. Yeah, when, when all the yeah. everybody's yeah. just kind of bleh. <laughs> That's why it's a Thanksgiving episode. We got yeah, that Thanksgiving yeah, yeah. energy tonight. Uh, I mean, real quick, what, what do you what do you guys plans? You guys do anything uh, special this year? Yeah, let's let's yeah that, that that that's a good idea, Dust. Let's do that. We'll start with you, Bo. Bo Walker. What is what is your plans for Thanksgiving, sir? All right. So here's what we do. Uh, we do. Uh, I'm married, obviously. We uh, know. Uh, yeah, of course you do. Uh, so we do uh, every other year type scenario. I, I feel. I I wonder if this is common across the U.S. But in the South, I was raised, and my wife was raised in kind of a every other year type thing so like you know this year this year is my family last year was her family yeah i I think Uh, that's common practice yeah that's common right that's common practice that across the board right that's not that's not exclusive to any area that's that's how that's how we as human beings delineate time spent with our family uh we 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 try to yeah right right for sure so 
Uh, last year we did it with her family. This year is my family's turn. Uh, I'm super excited. Uh, I love, I love my family. <laughs> I am a great big mama's boy who loves his family. Uh, I do. I love my family. Uh, my dad has three sisters, so I have three aunts who all got married and have kids. So I have first co- a lot of first cousins, uh, and we get together every other year, and uh, and we pig the fuck out, man. We eat like motherfuckers, man. We eat till it hurts, and hang out and uh. Okay, so. Just, 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 just a gal. Just. Yeah, I mean, you know, I'm, I'm not gonna pretend to be good at math. Uh, well, 30, 30, 30 people. 30? <laughs> yeah. How many chickens wow. or how many turkeys you guys doing? I man, I don't know. I ain't never been asked to do the turkey. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking about that shit, <laughs> homie. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, you think about it, man. My my dad has three siblings. And they've all got kids, and those kids have significant others. Some of them have kids of their yeah, own. And I mean, yeah, yeah. I mean, I think thirty is a very realistic estimate. Yeah, yeah, dude. That's a, and, that's an and army uh, of Methiuses. Yeah, dude, and especially somebody like me who was who went from one person to four people. <laughs> right. It's like, hey, yeah, I was I was just one mouth to feed. Now I'm four mouths. How many? Now, how many now I have my get? people. How many tofurkeys you getting? I don't know, man. I, like I said, I, I find the easy shit. I'm like, they're like, they're like, what do you want to bring? I'm like, a side and a dessert. <laughs> I don't you know. Have side, you have to bring a side for thirty people. Ah, uh, you know. I mean, I, I yeah. <laughs> you, know, <laughs> you know, what I'm saying. you know what's up. I, I'll make a side. And All if right. you're lucky, if you if you get some of it, then I'm excited for you. Especially if you like it, cream bunny. Hey, but if you don't get potato, some or you don't like it, cheap man. Hey, bro, Let's get a bunch of potatoes, make mashed potatoes, feed the army. Fair enough. Uh, dust like mites. Bucks. Dust mites. Are you are you going to your uh, uh, just visit your niece and shit? I ain't doing shit. You ain't doing shit. I'm sleeping. What's Steel doing? I don't know. Yeah, man. Uh, you um, know what? It's 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 a it's a touchy situation family wise. Right. And uh, ever since, kind of like my family kind of drifted apart. Thanksgiving right. really doesn't mean too much for me. And I honestly, as, as sometimes as I think think about how things are going with us, it makes me sick, and I don't even give a fuck about Thanksgiving. So, right. um, and after after this work week that I'm having, I really honestly, honestly would like to have just a day to myself where I could just chill out, do what I got to do. You know what I mean? Hang out on the couch. I'll pull the Christmas out, you know, start. Yeah. There. Yeah. Uh, I gotta be at work super early Monday, uh, Friday, black Friday. Cause you know, in the grocery, oh, hell yeah. They they have retail Friday. warriors, homie. So I'm there early Friday, which I, I'm usually off. And if I was off on Friday, I probably would have did something a little different this year, but I'll, I am off the weekend, so uh, my my younger sister's coming up with my niece and, and my my brother in law, and okay. they're in New Jersey. So we're gonna we're gonna uh, you know crow back some time in there together for the weekend and hit up a couple of breweries, get some wings, and chill out. So that's Very cool. What I'm really looking forward to. So yeah, I didn't and, and don't 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 feel sorry for me. Oh, no, no. 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 Believe me. No. It's gonna be a nice day for me. It yeah, sounds awesome. great to me. It'll be bus giving. Like you know? I'll have some beers. I'll go out and get like a fucking big porterhouse, the size of a fucking catcher's mitt. I'll throw it in the broiler. I'll be good. Yeah, for sure. Listen, nice. I, I like growing up. I didn't like both my parents were in the film industry, so I didn't have. Listen, unless I was with my like cousin's family, uh, I didn't have think like like I was the kid that got invited to other my friends thanksgivings (laughs) you know what i mean like like i spent more thanksgivings at my friends houses because my mom just i mean fucking i love her she's my fucking best friend she's my rock but we're just not that like get together and make holiday dinner fucking families it's just you know they both worked in the film industry so half the time they weren't around and i don't have a lot of family like my mom's side of the family is like four people it's like so i just so like and my mom was cool with it. It wasn't like she would get all upset or whatever, but I would go to my friends' houses and 
have yeah. Thanksgiving with other people. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know, so. And so, and so, but this year, just like last year, I'm going up uh, with Chris's family, with Chris's and my godson, my, you know, my nephew and, and Julie and my aunt and his brother, Ben. And so, and so this will be the second year in a row I've done that. And I'm really looking forward to it. I leave for Utah on Wednesday. I don't come back till Monday. So getting some good time with, with baby bro. Yeah, yeah man. Um, it like you can have a good weekend, man. You always seem like you always have a good time out there, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it, and I, I told him at some point we're going to get drunk and go live on Instagram. <laughs> so that'll happen, I'm sure. Dude, if I'm around, we could go live on the fucking. We'll do. Oh, so I'm down. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? I'm around all weekend, man. So. You know what? I'll bring this laptop just in case because I know he doesn't have one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'll bring this laptop just in case we do it like that, and then and then yeah, yeah, yeah something yeah. wrong. You know, I mean, even like what, what we're doing. I'm on the realm on on Wednesday night. I'm gonna do like a. A pre-Thanksgiving. I don't get into like midnight, so Wednesday. No, 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 no. I'm just talking about what I'm doing, like a pre-Thanksgiving oh, okay. for the realm. We're all gonna hang out, like the you know the day before. We, I, it's something that I usually do every year. It's like, right? My, it's a gobble gobble Thanksgiving Eve special. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Very cool. So. Midichlorian, what about you, sir? Well, well, probably, uh, you, probably just taking it. Yeah, it's just taking it easy. You know, a, a lot of stuff revolving around food. Are you doing it at your house, or do you have to go to your in-laws? Oh, no, I'm staying home, man. We're I'm cooking, doing everything at home. You know, I already got the ham out. You know, she does, like, some really, really dope uh, <clears throat> sweet potato, like, fucking... I don't even know, man. That's some crazy shit. Like, got a like, candy-coated top and... Yeah, yams. You know, she, she, she gets down on, on Thanksgiving, man. The stuffing mm-hmm. is unbelievable. So... Yeah, man, I'm just gonna take part in it, you know, be be nice and festive. But I, you know, I tell you, man, I really can't fuck with the turkeys too much. Reason being, I've been hooked. Fucking most delicious shit ever. Like it's gonna be our new sponsor next episode, man. Shout out to Kentucky Legend boiled in oil turkey breast. Well, that shit that's is that's like I, fucking. It, it's delicious. Oh my god. <laughs> so after having that, it's like I, I can't cook a turkey this good. I, I can't rather, even do it now. I'm pretty. I'd rather cook a huge turkey breast than a fucking a regular turkey because who the fuck gives a fuck about the dark meat? Everybody wants the light meat anyway. So cook two yeah. big turkey breasts and you make everybody happy. You know what's funny? In South America, everybody likes the dark meat, and that's not even a joke. Oh, that's not even a joke. No. Like, like I went to Peru. And I would go to like chicken places or, or or to these family dinners and they would make chicken and people would be clamoring for the fucking dark meat, bro. And I would just be like, Yeah, but the, but the chicken okay. dark meat's way better than turkey dark meat. Have it. Turkey dark meat is eh, not always so it's good. A little gamey, a little gamey, but you know. Yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah, that's right. I just talked about chicken. <laughs> yeah. You know what my favorite fucking part of the turkey is? The fucking skin. When it comes out all grilled, golden brown. Just, you know, oh, they sell the yeah. skin. Just should be like remember how George wanted pudding singles? Just make skin singles. Yeah, I think I would do the turkey breast if I was doing something because uh, everybody seems to flock to the. I used to be that um, kid when I was growing up. I wanted can I have a drumstick. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I, would, you did, I only would eat the drumsticks as a kid. I'm now, fucking. You, I don't that at all. Yeah, everybody's enjoying their dinner. I'm like <laughs> dipping it in the cranberry to fucking. <laughs> it's all dry. And I haven't had a good turkey drumstick in mad years. If if any of our users know a good place in California to get some good turkey drumsticks, drop it in the comments because uh, I like to know. I really would. Yeah, drop it in the comments. Yeah, Pumps. all two. We get a lot of comments, you know, so we might not see it. Hey, we we get flooded every week. Shout out to shout out to Chuck. He's uh he's the the comment guy on uh on YouTube. There, yeah, Charles. Oh, man. Yeah, Chuck. <laughs> Chuck. Chuck really likes to. Old Chuck, I love you, buddy. He is an opinionated bastard, and I love him. <laughs> <it. laughs> man, when you talk, we got to watch out for Chuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what's all the Chuck? Why why is all the cans opening all over the place? I said, just listen to the episode. Like he was like, why? Fucking Chuck, I love you, dude. Uh, uh, he's like, why? Why are you guys even giving time to 
fucking Pete Davidson and that little girl Ariana Grande. <laughs> That one, I gotta check that one out. Dude, Fuck them. I replied with, I replied with, bro, I fucking love Ariana Grande. Don't you speak bad upon her, sir? <laughs> you know, we 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 kind of dropped the ball that one week he was on vacation. Man, it would have been nice to have him on the show. It's kind of cool to like get our like really um the the listeners that are, are really in, in in depth with us and in deep with what we do. You For know. Sure. Be kind of cool to show him some love like we do. Yeah, yeah. Maybe the planets will line again, brother. We'll get you on. Right, we're going to go into uh, everybody's favorite segment. Making. Faking. Or breaking news. I'm going to read four news articles. Uh, the panel is going to vote on which one they would like to hear. I'm going to read four, sorry, four news headlines panel is going to vote on which one we want to hear and then mr Bo walker the mayor of macon is going to walk us through the thought process story number one new orleans man accused of bomb threat insists he just had to poop really bad story number one new Drop orleans bomb. man accused of bomb threat insists he just had to poop really bad. Story number two, dart professional dart players blame each other for breaking wind during Grand Slam match. Professional dart players blame each other for breaking wind during Grand Slam <laughs> match. Come on. Yeah. IBM's Watson. If you're not familiar, that's like the supercomputer, like the AI. Wrote a Lexus commercial about a car that comes alive. <laughs> IBM's Watson writes a Lexus commercial about a car that be, that comes alive. And final story. This is right up your alley, Dust. New Jersey man. Jersey blames Jersey. DUI on the New York Jets. New Jersey man blames DUI on the New York Jets. Metachlorian music, what story would you like to hear, sir? Wow, you know, a, a New York story uh, about the Jets, because, I mean, I didn't even know the Jets had fans. So just to know that there's a Jet fan out there, that might be kind of interesting. But I don't know. Oh man, I'll probably skip on that. What you know, then the whole car that turns human. I mean, I'm 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 straight. I'm not even gonna see the Bumblebee movie, so I'm I'm good. I'm good with nah. that. You know. Shit. Uh so what what else do we got? What what am I missing here? The oh the man yeah, this that is, uh this isn't the MIDI walkthrough, it's you listen I and know, I literally I, I legitimately forgot. Yeah, I'm, just gonna I, I, I'm trying to remember don't worry about me. This is fucking <laughs> I need to I need to walk through it before I make my decision. Bo, <laughs> Mitty's doing video edits and now walkthroughs, bro. You I'm, I'm done. I'm done. I'm more. worthless. I'm worthless to you. What do you what do you need me for? <laughs> dead. I'm what the dead. Fuck are you I'm drinking, dead man. walking. Whoa, whoa, whoa! What are you drinking? I'm just a big that bottle. He has a big bottle. You He's just let me drink. And... You went from a Corona to that. What the fuck is hey, that? Hey, you don't worry about me. <laughs> Bomites <laughs> in the house. Bomites is in the house. Dust my. What? Dust. Dust my. What story would you like to hear, Dust? Uh, I'm gonna do the uh, the dart farts. Dart farts. I like yeah. it. For the dart farts. Dart farts, Bo. Yeah, everybody's we, favorite segment. No, it's no, it's no one's story, favorite. sir. It's not, <laughs> it's not anyone's favorite segment. Wow. It's a segment that we all get through. Wow, the angry. Uh, uh, I'm here, and I'm. We're all gonna hear about it. Uh, no, I. <laughs> no, it's not nearly that exciting. I, I, I need, I need you to help refresh my memory all right so i got i've got the bomb threat the bomb threat the bomb threat one i got it 
I got it. The bomb thread. The bomb yeah, thread that's what is. I'm rolling with. Uh, uh, the bomb thread rolling. is is very curious, very curious indeed. Uh, the next one was dart players. Okay, so the bomb thread is. All right, all right. We're gonna carry on. Uh, d- the dart players. The dart players. And I can't read my own handwriting. What were they doing? At least you can still make farts a sip. And darts. Farts, farts and darts. And darts, son. Yeah, it uh, wasn't they, farts. They blamed, what they were they doing? Okay, doing no. uh, yeah. Dart players. I'm looking at my handwriting, and it looks like they dart were. Players blame each other for farting during championship match. I have a feeling we're gonna have the fans <sighs> open here. Yes. <laughs> If we uh, need to get by Thanksgiving, now that's too much editing. So. Yeah. Don't don't anger Chuck. Yeah. <laughs> Chuck our case again. Oh, let me tell you oh, right now. Oh, are you gonna be able to recover here? I oh oh I'm recovering. Okay, here's what here's what we're gonna do. Here's what we're gonna do. <laughs> <clears throat> we're gonna go with the bomb threat. You didn't even fucking walk us through the other two stories. Look, look, <laughs> god damn it. All right. What do you want from me? Do you want do you want it do you want us to be able to keep going on? Do you want this podcast to continue or do you want me to flounder? Do you want to watch me flounder over the next three topics for fucking making faking or breaking? Do you want to watch me fall on my ass? Do you want to watch that? I will do it. I will do it. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Fuck you. We're doing it. We're doing it. Fuck everybody. We're doing this. All right. Dart players did some shit when they went down on a fucking barking dog. And I don't want to hear about that. Number three, a car, a car, semi-sonic. I can't read my handwriting. God damn it. (laughs) There was a number three with a car semi-sonic Taj Mahal. And I don't... Hold on, on, on. on, Bo. You ready? Yeah, I'm having a good time. Sorry. Yeah, so am I. The the third story... Yeah, it was the third story. Watson wrote a Lexus commercial about a car that comes to life. Of course. It was the sentient car, the sentient automobile. Yeah. I knew that. Of course I did. Uh, I have apologies. Apologies. I got a, I got a bit carried away. I am optimist um, douche. And then story um, number four. Was the DUI. Was the DUI, right. Yeah, with the New Jersey. Yes. Fill me in on the rest of it. Tell me the rest. It was, was it. DUI. It was, it was New Jersey man blames his DUI on, on the New York Jets. Ah, uh, on the New York Jets. Of course he would. Those goddamn New York Jets. They it's do it to green. me every time. They First do it to me every time. Let me tell you right now. Every time I think I'm having a good day, I'm doing good. I'm having a good time. Love and life. I look over. New York Jets. It's the New York Jets. <laughs> They're fucking me up again. Your life's like and, three fans up in the BK. And BX. I'm not having a good time anymore. BX, BK. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. You want to so, hear, hear the bomb threat poop story? Yeah, we're we're clearly we're clearly on the bomb. All right. Hey. That's two. Hey. We Sorry, got two I guess for the bomb threat poop it, story. Guys. It's let's let's do the bomb bomb threat poop story. Tell me okay. about it. Tell me you about ready? it. Oh, I'm ready. As jokes go, this one was really crappy. Oh, my God. Out the gate? Out the gate, we're making poop jokes. Out the gate. This is a South Park episode. That's what this is. This is... Jesus Christ. You might even say it bombed. (laughs) A New Orleans man accused of threatening to blow up a local restaurant told police that it was a big misunderstanding and he was referring to a bowel movement. According to the arrest warrant obtained by NOLA.com, 30-year-old Arthur Posey walked into Willie's Chicken Shack and asked an employee what time the restaurant closed. I've been there. Yeah. (laughs) No, not at that chicken shack, but, you know, 
walking in and asking them what time they close. I've been to many. Uh-huh. When the employee told Posey she didn't know, which is actually quite funny that the employee doesn't know what time they close. Who can keep track of this kind of shit? Yeah, exactly. He allegedly replied, y'all about to close right now because I'm going to drop a bomb and blow this place up. (laughs) 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 Hell yeah, you are. Hell you are. Hell yeah, you are. (laughs) (laughs) Restaurant employees told police that Posey was very angry during the discussion. And he later told police that were called in because of a bomb threat that he was referring to the restroom and wasn't making any real threats. The employees also said he never mentioned the bathroom when he made his alleged bomb threat. (laughs) Posey now faces two counts of communicating information of planned arson. (laughs) Dude, you can't say the B word, man. You cannot say the B word. The fact, the fact that you can, you can get charged with arson well, for telling someone you're going to blow arson. up their bathroom. I'm going to blow up your bathroom. Arrested. That's unbelievable. Arrested. <laughs> Arrested. Arrested. You're like, done. Uh, there's just, there's so much. There's, there's, there's just so much to, to, so I just, I, shit. I don't, no. I, I, I. I, I could see it happening, man. In this day and age, fuck yeah. At Willie's Chicken Shack? Is that at a real fucking high target ISIS? Yeah. Fuck hey, the kind hey. of world where people can't go. It don't matter anymore, man. Because they're of a certain age or they don't have a it, right. And long beard. Could be anywhere, man. It could be anywhere. But why would the guy ask when the place was going to close so that he could blow it up? Well, I mean, here, here's the deal. Here's the deal. All right, I could I could totally see somebody being like, "Hey, what time y'all close? We, cl- we close at seven o'clock. G- g- y'all gonna have to close it earlier because I'm about to blow this bathroom up." But he didn't mention bathroom. Like you that. Don't, Come on, yeah, you, you can't imagine that shit. That shit happens. Maybe he's that been, shit happens. He he might have been locked in the bathroom overnight one time as, as a it kid happens. Uh, in a restaurant establishment, and he's he's just pr- protecting himself. You know, it happens. Uh, yeah, learning life lesson, man. You gotta learn from from your L's. So he might have took an L and and communication error. You know, and now he's in. He's uh, facing attempted arson. <laughs> <laughs> hey, did you guys real quick? I don't remember before we get into outros. I don't. I don't remember <laughs> if we talked about this in the show. But did you hear about the guy, like, you guys have liquor stores or grocery stores that have, like, the beer inside, like, another, like, f- like frozen chamber inside of the main store? You know what I'm saying? Like, you have to go in through a door. It's like a free. Some liquor, some liquor stores have that. We They have an open, they have an open walk-in. But uh, in New Jersey, you cannot sell liquor or beer in a grocery store. You have to go to a separate store, which is called a liquor store. Right. So, and so, I don't so, know her. So, so. <laughs> I saw <laughs> Sorry. So some guy went into one of those and then for some reason got locked overnight. <laughs> okay. And they didn't have any like security or anything. So nobody knew. So he had to stay in there overnight. And so while he was there, he like drank a bunch of fucking beer and got all fucking shit faced. And then in the morning they opened it up and they, he came out and he was super drunk and oh. they called the cops because they didn't know what the fuck was going on. And the dude got arrested for violating his probation because he wasn't supposed to drink. What? Come on. So he can't oh, stay warm. On. That was the only oh, way he could stay warm. I can't it. believe come that on. they let that go through. Nah. nah yeah. Fuck that That's shit. A story. That's a real story. He didn't have a he cell phone? Didn't, he didn't pay when he yeah. left the establishment. That's why he got caught yeah, up. That's, that's the story. <laughs> if he would have paid, he wouldn't have violated his probation. He would have been good. Fuck out of here. Uh, I got a uh, I got to grab a power cord really quick. Uh, Bo <laughs> Walker, you have a southern second. <laughs> I've got the hiccups. That's what I've got. All right, let's go. Goddamn hiccup. Roll it out. Uh, <clears throat> I feel like I had a southern second, but now that I'm looking at my, you had a second, a third, and a fifth. No, I did. I had. I had. I had everything I needed to have. He had a, hey, he had a, 
He had a southern comfort second. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Hey yo. Hey yo. Hey yo. Hey, oh. Uh I guess I did. Shit. I got you know. All right. Hey, you know what? Here's here's the deal. Here's the deal. Let me say this. Let me say this. I'm gonna think of it the moment we pass me by. So let me just say, let me just say this. It's Thanksgiving. Even if you don't have some super badass family Thanksgiving to look forward to. Why do you got to rub it in? I, I no look. All I'm saying is I I love you, me as an individual. Like I I appreciate that. I understand. I know how it goes, man. Like I know that not every year do you have some fucking thing to do. And 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 I'm sorry. And I love every one of the people that are listening to this right now. I do. I genuinely love you. If you've, if you've come this far on this journey with us, I love you so much and I am so appreciative and happy. Thanks giving whatever the fuck that means to you because Lord knows I'm not going to buy into this whole fucking Native American pilgrim. Oh, here we go. Bullshit. Here we go. God Strap damn. in, boys. Strap in. Buckle up. Hey. Yeah. hey Buckle let up. Me, Let's go. Let me just shut up right now before I kill the whole fan base. Yeah. We're going to learn from you our Columbus the- episode. Yeah. <laughs> Carry on. You have the floor. I love you guys. I go the Carry on. Minute, man. And just keep going. Hey. <clears throat> chlorian music. Do you have a midi minute? No, I don't, but I want to say uh, everyone enjoy your Thanksgiving. If you're hearing me on Thanksgiving, fucking go get a second plate, motherfucker. Waste food. Get a second and plate. Clean, clean. Second plate, and, and, motherfucker. Yeah. For, and when you're done eating, clean your fucking dish. Don't be a bum. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> well, you better eat You better eat that drumstick don't let us from the back. Sit in the sink. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, but, uh, you know, we... We're about to hit him with some new music, you know, uh, the wet noodle of the podcast definitely uh, 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 got to represent with, uh, with uh, you know, Python Patrol Plug. That's what I, it's uh, coming out pretty dope. I want you guys to know that shit is, is uh, I always like shit like a posse cuss, like the woo and shit like that. And this is, this is like the woo, but more nerdy. In a dope way, I, I don't know. You guys got to check it out. So you know, pluggy, plug, plug, plug it. Word up, dust mites. Yo, two in the pink, one in the stink. <laughs> uh, how can I top that? <laughs> I got nothing. I'm not gonna lie. When Mitty said, "Clean your plate, don't be a bum." It reminded me of something you would say, just like, uh, get off my fucking porch, tell your daddy to get a job. <laughs> Shout out to uh, Halloween everywhere. Uh, you know, happy Thanksgiving, everybody. And uh, I will be returning next week in my uh, Dust Mites glory. Not this uh, seltzer stuff. Uh, the uh, Shark Hunt beer will be flowing next one Monday, I promise. And there's a, uh, there's a possibility... Of maybe sometime on Saturday night, us going live, maybe mm. in some form or fashion. Never know. Never know. My name is Nathan Has Skill. Uh, I'm sorry if this show was a little subdued. Everybody's kind of, you know, on that Thanksgiving grind. Yeah, yeah. It's gonna uh, be a little short. It's gonna be short. It's gonna be a short yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Except for Bo, Bo carried us this week. Thank you for rowing, Bo. I no, appreciate I didn't you. Do you rowing. I didn't do a goddamn thing. <laughs> Don't even don't you dare. Uh, uh t-shirts are available. Uh yes. I got, I got the blue and the red. I'm gonna actually I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna get some in the mail tomorrow, guys. So make sure that I have your addresses in the uh in the group chat so I can get them to you. Uh we got the Hulk Hogan ripping the Hulk rule shirt into the Cobra La in black. Those are limited edition. We've got the blue with the red logo, classic Cobra G.I. Joe joint from 83. Uh, and the first 25 people that, uh, that order some shit, I've got, I, I, uh, I blew up some cool art by Aaron Jordan. Uh, I'm going to number them. I'm going to sign them. Uh, yeah, it's going to be dope. Mr. Fancy Pants, Mr. Fucking, uh, yeah. Mr. Fancy Pants is signing things now. Look at you. 
Nobody <laughs> wants no nobody wants the posters. Like nobody wants the notes. Nobody wants the posters. <laughs> uh yeah, man, Python Patrol is, is is very close to being done. Uh a lot of that's on me because of my moving situation and not being able to have my computer where I'm staying right now. So it's taken a little bit longer, but it's almost finished. It's going to be dope. Also, Bo Walker has owed me verses for like two months. And yeah, it's like totally. every other weekend. He's oh, like, I'm it's the, the weekend, bro. I'm the it's worst. The I'm the worst. I am the worst friend and collaborator. Just <laughs> oh, across, you know, the board. across the board. What do, you, what do you need? I can be the worst at that. I can be the I can be the worst thing that you've ever had. Would you, you need say a that? friend, a I collaborator? Said, I said, I, said uh, I get my hard copy before you get your verses. Oh God. Okay. Hey. Hey. This is real talk. Hey. Take this off the live. Take no, this no, off the no, live shit. All right. Okay, hold on. All right. All right. All right. Do what you gotta do, and then I got shit to say. God damn it. With that said, <laughs> farewell. Farewell. <laughs> And happy Thanksgiving. Happy from Thanksgiving. The <laughs> Fuck you, motherfuckers. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the biggest you asshole. I'm the dust. biggest asshole in the world. Like, I am the asshole of you you, Thanksgiving. Bro. I am the worst. I'm like the enemy of Thanksgiving. Hello. Hey, how y'all doing? Just don't uh, mind me. I just hate Thanksgiving. Gobble, gobble. I don't I hate Thanksgiving. <laughs> we, we definitely need an extra episode of uh, why he hates Thanksgiving. God damn it. No, we know, you know, you know what's great is that literally 15 minutes ago he was like, I fucking love Thanksgiving, man. I love my family. <laughs> I fucking love getting together with everybody. He's an angry, he's an angry drinker. That is yeah. me. That is accurate. As as uh, scarily, scarily accurate. All right, here's the deal.